about two different types of people today. And the first type of person is a taker, and the other type of person is what I call a waiter. Right? You've got takers and you've got waiters. Right? You see, waiters are the ones that, when because of a fear of failure, they'll just sit back and say they're waiting on God. Hey, it's true, we should wait on God. But how many know you can use the word wait as just another option because you procrastinate? You see, waiters, they, they like the blessings to just come all wrapped up in a bow, but they don't want to trust God for anything. So what they do is, you got to understand, and I want to bless somebody real quick. This ain't got nothing to do with what I'm talking about, but it makes sense. God works in seasons. And when God tells you to move, He's telling you to move in the right season. But what happens is you're a waiter, so you sit back and wait until you feel you're prepared to move. Now when you try to step out, the season has changed. See, if you think you have to have it all together before you step out, it's already time that your time has left you. When I first started preaching, the pastor at the time said, you need to preach. I said, I'm not ready. He said, good, because the moment you feel ready is the moment God left you. But every single time I stand up, I question, is this what God is calling me to say? So seasons come and go, but your time, he said just a minute ago, is 15 seconds. That's right, yes. So, 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 so listen to waiters and takers. You've got, you got waiters who want everything wrapped up, and, and when takers come around, they reach for everything. Takers, they, they did what you see. God, and God gave me this revelation this week, and I thought it was very profound in my life. God gives blessings to some, but He gives opportunities to all. Come on. That's good. I want to I want to try to get this. You see, God gives blessings out of nowhere, yes. And that's wonderful. We got a favor. But when I'm talking to the people that understand about the opportunities, because you may just want a blessing, but takers want an opportunity. Because a blessing might be one, two, three. But if you give me an opportunity, I'm snatching all team. You can get your blessing, but God, I dare you to unlock just one door. See, some people want it just exactly the way it is. But see, if you wait for a blessing, that's fine. But God gives opportunities, y'all. Y'all heard that story about that man who was in a flood. He was in his house. He was sitting in his house. And heard a big horn and there was a flood. He said, hey, the radio said, you got to evacuate, got to evacuate. So he sit there and he said, I'm going to wait on the Lord. He began to pray. You know that church he prayed, and the Lord is going to bless me. And I'm going to get out, but I'm going to wait on the Lord. You know, all right? So he's sitting in his living room going in, all right? Storm coming, the flood is coming. Somebody pulls up in a car, blows the horn, and says, hey, come on, let me get you out of here. He said, no. I'm waiting on the walk. Across the street, the lady said, I'll take the ride. She got the car, they drove off. Huh? The flood got worse. Now it rolls up to about a second story window. He's hanging out the window, talking about he waiting on the Lord. Here come a man in a boat coming by. And he said, hey, get in the boat. Let's get out of here. He said, no, nah, man. I'm waiting on the Lord. But somebody across the street swam over and said, I'll take the boat. She got in and ran off the not so bad. He's standing on the top of his roof and the helicopter come by. Helicopter say, hey man, get the helicopter man, get the helicopter. He said, no, because I'm waiting on the Lord. Somebody else down the street was waving, I'll take the helicopter. You know this man drowned, right? <laughs> he, he, he done drowned. He done got to heaven. He got to heaven with an attitude, y'all. <laughs> He's standing at the pearly gates mad at God. Like, Lord, you said you never leave me nor forsake me. And I stood there and I waited on you and you didn't come. You didn't bless me like you said you was going to bless me. And God said, I didn't send a blessing, but I sent three opportunities. And you refused to take the opportunity. See, if you had took the first opportunity, you would have been fine. If you would have took the second opportunity, you would have been fine. If you, how many opportunities have you blown but you're still complaining that the, it's flooding all around you? How many times did God send an opportunity but you were too afraid to take the opportunity? Y'all you know, want some Bible? I read Bible in here. There was a man in the Bible that was paralyzed. He had four friends. You know, four friends brought him over. They said, we're going to take you to Jesus. They brought him to the house. There was too many people down on the first floor. They couldn't get in. So the four men 
could have easily said, well, we're going to go home and try to catch Jesus another time. But when Jesus is nearby, and you have an opportunity to touch him. So the four men said, not only are we going to not leave, but we're going to climb on top of the roof. And we're going to dig a hole in somebody's roof. See, that's why you got to be around the right friends. Because I need to be around friends that if I ever get spiritually paralyzed, they're going to say, uh-uh, we're going to take you to the king. to a lot of people, but he stops ministering to the crowd to minister to the one. Y'all catch this nugget. Jesus is attracted to persistence. Jesus is attracted to folk that say, I'm about to take what's mine.